Today I want to show you how to absolutely destroy the cover zero meta for a one play touchdown over the top in Madden 24. Now this play comes to us out of the trips tight end formation in the Green Bay Packers playbook. And we're going to be taking a look at the play PA shot wheel. Now if you know anything about man coverage in Madden, you know that there is a stock shading on every coverage, every man coverage ever created okay what do i mean by a stock shading i mean that the coverage is all is pre uh determined to naturally shade in a specific pattern for example cover one is typically shaded outside cover zero is typically shaded inside now we all know that this mike blitz zero is a really big popular meta we actually set this meta we dropped this defensive ebook the first day man 24 was out and you can still get access to that in the Patreon, it shows not only how to run the blitz, but how to create the best coverage defenses around the blitz, how to stop the run, how to contain the rollout, everything you need to be successful defensively. We also have this trip side in offensive ebook on there, and we're going to be updating all of our ebooks this week with new material uh, as well. Patreon members get access to all of the ebooks, all the updates, everything. So if you want to sign up for that, the link's going to be down below. Now, all we're going to do here, we're going to build around this play out of PA shot wheel. There's a lot of good routes in here. We have an S post. We have a crosser, and we have this really cool wheel route from the inside trips receiver. So all I like to do here is we're just going to slant Marquez Vada scaling and motion him across, and I want to show you what we can do. We can basically get this guy isolated over the top. Now, if he doesn't get open, then you're going to run the you're going to run the, the slant cross concept, right? It's it's basically the same as slant post. You can uh, put your tight end on a route if you want to. And then you can like maybe do like a little clear out streak or something here. So that way you still have other routes on the field that can beat man to man. Uh, and of course I say that they actually almost kind of bag the low key bag the drag. But the other big piece of this is this route is this wheel route. And there's two main coverages that this wheel route will give you the opportunity to beat. One of them is cover zero and every, every so often doesn't always get open. Um, but it can burn over the top, all right? And it's going to be a good flat route for you. It's going to basically just be a better version of the flat route. It's Wheel routes are really good for man-to-man. -man. So you could run, you could even run something like this where you do uh, double drags, maybe even put the running back on a route, and you can snap the ball right here, and it'll create this little mesh, and you see he will just roast the man coverage over the top. So you're just trying to create little movement bumps and stuff with the way man coverage plays right now. And you can see this has the potential to be a really, really big play. Now the way to stop this play, and I'll show you one other thing. If your opponent says, hey, we're going to play some shaded down man, even if they're pressing you on this, this is also a good way to beat uh, beat shaded down man. Of course, I say that I throw or the drag's not open. But again, that wheel route can burn over the top. It, it certainly can, okay? Um, the big thing to remember with this is Madden 24, as of right now, is very inconsistent. In, in Mutt, we don't have great throwing accuracy. We don't have abilities. Um, you know, there's a reason. But the bottom line is this wheel route, uh, you'll see here again, there are torches again, and you're able to throw it against that uh, cover zero. So the other thing this does a really good job of is it forces safety help on the trip side, which no one ever wants to have to do. Now, I'll show you one little thing here. If they shade over top, if they know about shade over top right now, shade over top, man, uh, you'll see here, it can play this a little better, but you can also try to user catch it. So shade over top is something they can go to, but really what we're trying to work them into is that they have to deep half or they have to outside third on that left-hand side. The second we get them to do that, everything opens up for your offense because then you can run something like this and utilize this S post. And this S post, you'll see right here, can really cook man this year a lot better than it's been able to beat man in years previously. So now they have to create roll coverages to the trip side. There's some things they have to do defensively to have to respect the fact that we can hit them over the top on the left we can hit them over the top in the middle of the field, and we can also um, hit them over the top. And now you see, look at this alignment problem. Now we have alignment problems, right? So now, let's say, for example, they do a coverage and it looks like this. Now we have a ton of misalignments and problems, and this is why trip side in is so good. So then we go with the 
the double wheels out of this, and you can kind of freestyle this to use it to attack man coverage in a variety of different ways. So now they got to roll back over there, then, and you see how this kind of numbers game starts to play out. But the biggest piece of this is getting the, the ability to beat them over the top on the right, getting the ability to beat them over the top on the left, and getting the ability to beat them over the top of the middle. So how do we beat them over the top on the right? That's where this crossing route really comes in handy. And again, we can do it all from the strips alignment. So just simply streaking the tight end. And then from there, you could take this, uh, this backside guy and just put him on a motion slant. And we know motion slants. I think they're going to do something to motion slants. I don't think they'll leave it. It's really bad the way it is. But you see the motion slant. Normally, honestly, is not terrible against man coverage. It's just the random sitting that makes the motion slants bad. So the, the beauty of this, though, again, if we're thinking about adjustments, they're now having to use their safeties in coverage. And whenever you have to use your safeties in a coverage system, it limits what you can do from a blitzing perspective, right? So now you'll see here this crosser does have potential to go over the top. We still have that wheel route. And you, if they're in a half, you can still throw this on the sideline, as you can see. So it's not like they can just stop the wheel route. It's that they can contain the wheel route. And really what we're walking them into is this idea that they're going to either have to use their safeties in the man coverage game or they're going to have to start shading over to the top. And when they start shading over the top, we're going to be able to hit them with crossing routes galore. So I think using wheel routes to beat man coverage is one of the best tricks of the trade this year. And if you can get this crosser, this crosser really will open up everything because now I've beat them deep left, I've beat them deep right, and I've beat them deep middle. And so because of that, they're going to have to use their user. They're going to have to use their safeties and coverage. They're going to have to do some very intentional stuff. And because they don't know whether or not I'm going to put the running back on a route or not with this play, they don't know. They, they can't necessarily just send five and pray, right? So you see here, they send five. We pick up the blitz, and we're able to hit our slant or our crosser. We also have that wheel route as a deep option in a send five scenario because they can't put safety help when they're sending five at your quarterback. So PA shot wheel out of trip side in affords us a lot of different ways to attack man-to-man -man coverage. And in my opinion, is one of the best Man beating plays right now in this game. If you guys want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. The link to sign up is going to be down in the description below.